Ibada, worship of Allah. The purpose of humankind creation on earth is in order that people should know the Lord and worship him as he should be worshipped. Allah subhanahu wa says in the Quran, I have only created jinn and man that they may serve me. The prime purpose of all forms of Ibada, worship of Allah such as Salah, fasting, Zakah, Hajj, Dhikr or recitation of the Quran is to be express servitude, obedience and submission to Allah. As for the benefits which one gets from Ibadah such as self-reform, discipline and so on. These are the results and fruits of Ibadah but they are not the prime objective. Imam al shatibi said Ibadah has a primary objective and other objectives which follow the primary in order, in other words, secondary objectives. The primary objective is to serve Allah, obey and submit to Him. As for the objectives which follow, they include self-reform, righteousness and so on. He continues to say the prayer, for example, is initially to submit and humble yourself before Allah by bowing and prostrating and to remember Him. Allah SWT says in the Quran, establish prayer for my remembrance. And he also says, prayer restrains from indecent and evil deeds, but verily remembrance of Allah is more important. This all means that the fact that the prayer reminds a Muslim of his Lord is more significant than any other benefit, because the remembrance of Allah is the primary purpose of prayer. Then of course there are other objectives which follow, such as it restrains from indecent and evil deeds. It is a source of comfort and relief for the believer. It is a means to release worldly needs, realize worldly needs such as in Salat al istikara and Salat al hajja It is a source of protection such as that mentioned in the Hadith. Whoever prayed Fajr, the morning prayer, or the Jamaat, he is under the protection of Allah. Like with other forms of Ibadah, they have benefit in the Akhirah, such as entering paradise and salvation from fire and worldly benefits. But all these benefits come next to the primary objective, i.e. submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obedience to Him. One of the acts of worship in which the primary objective of Ibadah is most clear is the Hajj. This is because the Hajj includes acts which are not possible to realize the entire meaning with our intellect, such as Tawaf, and the Kaaba, kissing or touching the black stone Sa'i between the two hills of Safa and Marwa, standing at Arafah, throwing the stone, shaving, slaughtering and so on. Nevertheless, the Hajj has many benefits worldly, and the Akhirah which Allah has indicated in the Quran in His words by saying, and proclaim the Hajj among mankind, they will come to thee on foot mounted on every lean camel that they will witness the benefits provided for them. When a person realizes with his intellect the meaning behind an action then that will make it easy for him to do it. However there is a danger here that one might miss the real sense of worship which is submission and obedience. Of course there is no harm for one to know the wisdom and benefits the acts of worship as long as one is not doing these act only to satisfy his reason or to realize the benefits and he does not forget the primary objective of Ibadah. It is the wisdom of Allah the acts of Ibadah are varied so that they can serve different purposes. Maybe they have been designed in this way to remind us of the primary objective of Ibadah and to serve these objectives. May Allah make us of those who constantly remember him. Amen. I